Hi, and welcome to Style Thoughts by Rita. Today is a really exciting day because I have created like a little fun adventure for us all to get to know and explore our new four essence styling system for women. So what I have done is I have found four celebrities who fit in each one of the quadrants and I've put together just some outfits for them. And then my invitation for you is to kind of guess where you would put the women in the comments below. So you can like type your guess or you can just like thumbs up other guesses. And I think that's just like, you know, fun. And then at the end, I'm gonna go through them and talk about where I place them in the quadrants and why I think that. So first, before like we jump into it, I wanna talk a little bit about like why I'm doing this. And then, yeah, just say something else quickly. So why do I want to do this is, first of all, I'm just so excited about how much interest there has been in the style system because, yeah, I just think it's really like onto something and I'm really glad it resonates with all of you. And I think what I really like about this system is if we don't overthink it, it really is like very simple and very intuitive. So I kind of want to encourage you to like practice your intuition with the system. <laughs> And of course, um, in the upcoming videos, we're going to talk a lot about like uh, each quadrant and maybe some like recommendations and stuff. So, but before like we kind of overwhelm you with that info, I thought it would be fun for you to kind of feel a bit empowered. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. And it's also like, it's just like fun. And then one thing I want to say is, yeah, um, if you like disagree with my guesses, like, you know, that's fine. Uh, I mean... <laughs> It's my system, but I really feel very strongly that it's okay for you to like have your opinion if that really, you know, feels just different for you. So no worries. Okay, so now before I go into it, obviously I'm going to refresh you quickly on the system. So how this system works is it is a combination of your, like it is your essence, which is a combination of your personal kind of like energetic field, the way you speak, the way you move, the way you like carry yourself, the way you look in different colors, shapes, outfits. So it's really the intersection of the psychological, the physical, the spiritual kind of combined into one. And it's really not just about one type of outfit or some specific rules over what people wear. It is about the effect that you create with your clothing. So again, the way you're like moving, the way you're talking, the way you look in your clothes are all considered. And so your goal isn't like necessarily to choose the outfits to quit, fit like into your quadrant rules, but rather it's about choosing an outfit that like kind of shows you in this light that belongs to what I refer to as like your home base, which is kind of the place where you are most clearly seen to the world. And so I want you to keep this in mind as we're talking about these women celebrities is not necessarily to fixate on the specific elements of their outfits or how you would label them, but like try to see this person as a whole and think to yourself like, okay, so what is this woman like in these outfits? And I, it's a bit harder if you don't know any of these women. So, I mean, yeah, like we will include a lot more typings and a lot more future videos, but I definitely would say um, watching maybe like a quick video of somebody can like give you some info on them beyond just pictures, but I just have pictures in this presentation now. Okay, and now I'm just gonna give you, take you to kind of just the quick refresher of the system, right? So we have firstly what we call the left versus the right axis. So this is kind of the fundamental energy, I would say that you have. On the left, sensual intriguing, really enveloping, gravity, elemental, Gaia, lost girl is the shadow. On the right, we have like dreamy, inspiring, luminous, radiant, refined, the sun, the ice queen is the shadow. So, and everybody has their own way maybe of really under tapping into that left-right difference. For me, really the left is about you being a person who brings other people into you and really like envelops them and being kind of like magnetic, um, and being also yeah very like elemental whereas for me the right is really people who bring energy out like you know as mirage says when they come into a room they're really lighting up the room rather than bringing eyes to them and also somebody yeah very radiant and kind of refined in in their wholeness and then we have 
want be to modulate the left and right, we have the up and down, where up is really mysterious, glamour is really a persona, whereas down is kind of this approachable, very delicate beauty, this very personable personality approach. And that's pretty easy. So again, this doesn't necessarily refer to down always meaning more casual outfits or even more simple outfits and up always being more dressed up or almost more complicated, but it's about creating the effect of kind of the mysterious drama glamour on the up and this understated, approachable, delicate, intuitive um, self-presentation on the down. And then we've also, Miraj and I have chosen the keywords that for us reflect the different quadrants really well. So I'll show these later, but this is just a combination of them. So for example, on the upright, like dreamy and glamorous, right? That's kind of the, an impression you get compared to a person on left down who would have an impression of sensuality and ease. Okay, so that's a quick refresher. So now let's get into it. So my first person I wanted to guess about is Emily Radikovsky. So um, I guess she's like an actress and a model. So here she is in some of her looks. She is really known for her street style. She is uh, really like photographed on the street a lot. Here we have her in some of her other street style outfits. And then finally, I just have some like selection of her photos on the red carpet. And I didn't want to include like too many photos because I don't want to like overwhelm anybody. Um, and I think that these ones, I'm going to show three slides for each person. And I think that they kind of give you the impression. So without kind of overthinking it, um, just thinking about like, where does this person fall in for you? Do they fall into this left up kind of dramatic, um, sensual, elemental, intimidating, glamorous, right up, radiant, effort, dreamy, glamorous, inspiring persona, the right down, dreamy and intuitive, refined and approachable, radiant, delicate, or the left down, intriguing, understated, gravity, personable, sensual, and easy. So just, um, you know, yeah, as you, you can guess for yourself or you can guess down in the comments below just to see. Okay, then the next person we're gonna talk about is Dakota Johnson. Um, so here she is also in some of her street style outfits. She really likes these kind of like dresses. Uh, she wears a lot of that. Here she is in some kind of like jeans or simple pants outfits. That's another thing that she really likes to wear. And she's again, often really photographed with her street style. And then here she is in some of her red carpet looks that bringing that red carpet glam. Okay, and again, you know, just you can pause here and think through like these different quadrants where do you feel that Dakota really belongs? And then uh, we're going to go to Emily Blunt. So here is Emily Blunt. Uh, she is sometimes photographed in this street style. She has a lot of these, yeah, I mean, she has a lot more like dressier photographs of her online. So I've just chosen to show these outfits because that's kind of what she's most photographed in. And she likes this kind of like, I guess, fancy lady look. And here's some of her really fun uh, red carpet <laughs> outfits, which I think are cute. Okay, so again, you can just kind of like pause here and think through, you know, where does Emily Blunt belong? And again, if you don't know these people, maybe you either just, you know, skip the guests or you can look up some more pictures. Then we talk about Zoe Kravitz. So here's pictures of Zoe Kravitz. So she's also really known for her street style. And as you can tell, she has kind of like this eclectic style because she's a flamboyant comedian um, and it's a fun representation of that. Um, here she is kind of like a little bit fancier, more red carpet events. Oh my God, how cool is this cube bag? That's just like amazing, I love that. And just some more kind of like street style event attire that's a lot what she tends to be photographed in. So again, just you can pause here if you want, just thinking about where do you think intuitively Zoe belongs? Okay, and now we're gonna come to my take. So I'm gonna tell you where I think they belong. So Emily Radikovsky to me, she's left down. She is very intriguing, but kind of understated. She has a lot of gravity, but she's very personable. 
and she definitely represents to me sensuality and ease. So uh, I'm gonna show you some outfits and I'm gonna talk through why I think that, but uh, just quickly, like I wanted to summarize a bit. Like for me, Emily is a very typical left down person because even though she is an extremely like wealthy, like a ridiculously beautiful human being, right? And very glamorous. Um, I think like the fact also that people really love photographing her in these jeans outfits is that there's the cool approachable girl, you know, like she's not Emily the brand, she's just Emily. That's like a bit, that's like the brand she has, right? So to me, that's very much down, which is that even though she obviously has a very clear personal style, it's kind of this like, oh, intuitive, you know, I just, I just put this on, like, you know, it's so easy uh, for me to look like this. That's a bit her brand, I think. So um, like one thing is if we look at some of her um, red carpet looks where she's really like dressed up and fancy. I think like it's uh, she's still really beautiful, but I think this is like why I put her down. Um, not that she can't wear these, but to me like these are like to me these kind of like emphasize how delicate her beauty is because when she has these dresses that just have a lot of different details, I feel that she is kind of like lost to me. And again, like this is more energetically lost like obviously she looks beautiful and she's wearing the dresses really well with her body and her colors like it's all great but it's just like something to me about where it's like the cool like like incredibly beautiful like you know random lady you see on the street who's just like too cool to exist like that doesn't channel to me through these outfits and then what I thought was really interesting was when she wears these outfits which I would say are more kind of refined just like more sophisticated kind of because of the colors the simpler shapes the kind of tailoring with the way she stands and i noticed that across a lot of her photos this kind of contortion almost um i would say it reads kind of like uh i don't know it just to me it seems so awkward and so forced right it's like there's this mismatch between the body language and the image that she's projecting versus kind of this like i'm just like a nice elegant girl uh, of the outfits, which again, on like another woman who is on the right, these outfits would look very like in place. But in her, I just, I really think that they just look off, even though again, she's pulling them off. They work with her body. They work with her colors. There's nothing obvious clashing to me about these. And finally, I just, these are some looks of hers that I really love. And I wanted to show these because these are, I would say for an average person, extremely dressy looks like here. I mean, this one just because of the short skirt right on the right and she has this kind of white blazer i mean golden sequin dress these like right so these looks they're very intense but what i the, what to me with the simple kind of hair the simple jewelry and just her overall demeanor i would say is very like oh yeah like yeah of course i just put this together you know just yeah i just i just grabbed this amazing bucket bag right so to me again the reason that she is really in the left up is because she's really cultivating this approach of like intuitive easy sensual and i would definitely describe her as left because she really like you know you could just imagine like yeah as she walks into a room it's like the eyes really go to her and she really is at her best and kind of shines the most when she is really like the person who brings you into her energy field so i imagine that she has a very enveloping energy field like you're kind of stepping into her field um and i think that's really she's really gorgeous and beautiful so now let's talk about dakota johnson so i put dakota johnson in the write down to me she has definitely a very dreamy and intuitive vibe very refined and approachable very radiant and delicate <clears throat> And this was something I talked about with somebody recently. To me, Dakota, um, she's, if you don't know her, so one thing that she's quite known for is like, oh, you think she's so sweet, but she's kind of like witty and she makes like quips and she's actually kind of cool. And I think that Dakota is really able to have this brand as a celebrity, this kind of like, oh, I bet you didn't see that coming because she really leans into this refined but approachable, like delicate beauty, um, I'm kind of sophisticated but delicate, kind of like low-key regal. She kind of plays into that like aesthetic and by just playing into that aesthetic, it actually allows like, more of Dakota's dimensions to show up. So she's not like limited to being kind of this, I don't know, dreamy good girl. But I think like when she dresses that way, she really allows for her personality 
to be seen best by the world so here's just like some random looks um again just are just like i think it's the light colors the simple shapes kind of the simple patterns strappiness shoes this i don't know kind of like rounded small shapes that all, all together just kind of create this like really easy refined aesthetic you know just everything is just a little bit like elegant and i think again that's something interesting i've noticed with the down celebrities in general, is that they're the ones who tend to be photographed in their street style more. So to me almost, if somebody has a lot of casual street style photos, sometimes that person is not really at their best. You know, maybe they just love, you know, maybe people just love them. But I think that there is something in this brand that people are really picking up on. You know, this is a person you want to see in their jeans on the street, or you want to see them in a simple dress on the street. And these images are shared all over Pinterest. They are, you know, really easy to find on Google Images. Whereas with um, women who are in the up, it's actually a bit harder to find cute street style photos of them. There will be photos of them in kind of like athleisure, but they're not, they're not like these really aesthetic street style photos that you can more easily find uh, of Dakota in kind of a simple lunch dress. So here she is at some kind of like semi-formal red carpet events. And again, I really like how she's kind of keeping uh, like, I don't want to just make this video too long, but I just, she's, she has her look very minimal. And I think that this is a great um, inspiration to those of you who have this very delicate beauty. You know, she doesn't need, it's not because of her KBID. It's just because she's so soft in her beauty um, and very delicate. That it's like, she doesn't really need a lot of jewelry. She doesn't need an ornate hairstyle. She doesn't need to maybe even carry a bag. You know, she has these very simple shoes and the shapes and colors can also be really simple, but they really allow her to shine through, I think. Whereas uh, she also like, I think this is interesting because she does like these looks that are <laughs> just like re-wearing the shirt, but she likes these looks that are a bit more like edgy and these ones I picked specifically because they're not really edgy They're just like gray flannel, you know, so but but these looks I would not nobody would describe them as kind of refined, right? These are not the looks that you would describe as I don't know dreamy or radiant I would say they're they're more if anything like intriguing and kind of a bit like gravity enveloping whatever like to me at least and I just think it's interesting how just in these looks I mean she still looks like you know like a just a cool lady on the street but the radiance Again, nothing about these outfits is super left per se, but on her, like the radiance is not clear to me. This really like refinement is not clear to me from her in these outfits. So that's, and I think like that's a really good indicator. And I think it's also fun because to see her on the left here, like I wouldn't say this is like, I mean, this is the Met Gala, right? Everybody's supposed to dress up. So situationally, I think that this is like a great outfit, but in a way I think like, um, and I also think in a way like, it is kind of very like intuitive uh right down outfit but i think she looks like she doesn't look on the in this left picture like more i don't know like more interesting or more radiant or more i don't know refined or whatever than she does in this very simple kind of short almost minimal dress to the right so it's more like dressing up all the way in this very like appropriate kind of costume doesn't give her this like oh wow like dakota like who knew she could look like that um, and I think like that's another indicator to me that she belongs in this down category, which is not to say she doesn't look great in the left, nor to say like, oh, she shouldn't wear that to this event. It's more about like, you know, like, oh, now I get who Dakota is in the left dress. <laughs> okay, now we talk about Zoe Kravitz. So to me, Zoe Kravitz is left up. She is dramatic with gravity. She's sensual and glamorous, and she's elemental and intimidating. And so I have to say, the reason I picked Zoe for this video is because I think some people might say, oh, she's left down because, you know, she has this kind of like punky, edgy look, and it's like, it's a little bit unkempt, right? <laughs> and that's why I put her in here, because it's not about the specific outfits, but again, it's really about how they combine on the person who's wearing them. And to me, like Zoe in these outfits she wears is very glamorous, 
very dramatic, very intimidating, somebody who puts in a lot of effort, and finally somebody who's really creating a persona. So it's not like, oh, Zoe Kravitz, just like chill, approachable girl. It's really like, oh, this is Zoe Kravitz, kind of, I don't know, the like queen bee or whatever. So very like intimidating to me um, and, and gra glamorous in her own way. So, and these are just some examples of her, her street styles. And I think like, Again, I just think that there's so many details that make it that make it clear that it's like the takeaway from this kind of like elementalness, right? So she has like these really sharp kind of like tight shoes and she has these like tight bangles and she has these earrings with the, with the necklace. Just even on this extremely simple outfit of just shorts and a t-shirt, she's like adding so many like layers to me. And I think it's interesting when, yeah, oh, this is becoming really long. Um, she's just adding a lot of things. And I think also in these red carpet looks, these are very um, bare looks, which I think is like really interesting because you think like, okay, Rita, but that's kind of like minimal. Isn't it like left down? But I think like my take is just that I think on her, what it does is it creates a really intimidating persona. So <laughs> I wanted to show you that and say what I think. And then I think it's cute because again, not that like white is right, but I think like these outfits are a little bit more kind of like radiant, a bit more like shining the light rather than drawing in the eye. And I just, again, wanted to show that like, I think while she looks really cute in all of these, they fit her shape and they fit her colors really well. I think they're lovely. I think um, like her edginess is a bit hidden here. And I think her edginess and this very like elemental, really like magnetic enveloping vibe is really the beauty that she is bringing into the world. So finally, we have Emily Blunt. So by process of elimination, you must know she's right up. And to me, she really represents this radiance with the effort. She's very dreamy and glamorous and she has this very inspiring air and she kind of has this like persona she cultivates. So again, I think, first of all, interesting, there's not that much like street style photos of her or it's this kind of like unattractive-ish kind of blurry shots, you know, they're not like the fashion street style. <laughs> That's one thing. Another thing I think is really interesting is if you think about her role in like Emily Devil Wears Prada, right? Um, I don't think all actresses are always cast in their role, but I'm saying like, I think that role really gave you kind of like an impression that you like really felt like Emily Blunt's like kind of personality. Not that she's a bitch, but it's more like she can like tap into that kind of ice queen energy, if that makes sense to you. Um, so yeah, so yeah, but these outfits cause like, oh my God, like this dress, I mean, it's also like, I don't know if you guys like it, if it's like a bit silly, but I think this is like such a right up to me dress on her. It's very like, I don't know. Um, and on the right, I feel like that's very like sunny dress. Okay, so here are some outfits by her, which I think are really nice uh, that are not ultra dressed up. But again, like to me, they really give her that right up kind of like radiance but effort kind of dreamy but also glamorous look and it's just the refinement of the right is in general like really visible and she likes to have these kind of sharper shoulders or like the pleats in her pants or in her skirts the sharp kind of collar line like kind of conservative i would say cuts on her clothing right so her body is not really being revealed but at the same time um she doesn't have like a ton of accessories either so um, I think like I could see somebody being like, well, she's kind of like right down, but I hope that you see what I see when I look at Emily. And that is that her like persona is quite powerful. So she doesn't to me have this very delicate, soft beauty of Dakota Johnson. And it's not about their body types. To me, it's really about the energy where you would think like this is almost like the minimum dressed up <laughs> that Emily Blunt like can be and still really be bringing that like Emily Blunt energy into the world to me. And then these outfits I think I chose because I really like them. I think they're very cool outfits and they really suit her um, coloring and her shapes. But I think both of these outfits, because they're dark and very intricate, I think on her what they do is they really bring the eye right like into the outfit so it really gives you this like okay bringing in this very like enveloping and kind of like elemental like edgy vibe 
Um, not this like I'm here to shine the light into the world radiant kind of refined vibe that I associate with Emily Blunt and then here's just some photos of her street style as an example so I think that she looks really cute again all these outfits I think really suit her body they suit her colors they're well put together they're like cute outfits and it's like you might think like oh but you know like Emily you know she's just like sexier and she's I don't know, like younger and that's why people want to take pictures of her in jeans but that's just like I really that's my kind of belief and we've talked about this in the men's system is it's just like that's just not true I really think it has to do with the fact that people really want to see different people in different types of clothes so people are just like fundamentally less interested in Emily Blunt wearing kind of simple outfits some people are because they want to see inspiration and these are nice outfits that are appropriate to what she's doing and they're absolutely not like do not wear outfits but it's just like yeah I mean she's a human being she's wearing an outfit it's you wouldn't think like okay this is like Emily bringing her unique beauty best into the world um that's kind of my impression so that's basically i tried to make this video short but it didn't work um so that's kind of my takeaway on these four celebrities and i hope that this video was interesting for you i definitely feel very um like i mean to me the system is like super clear but i definitely feel like i'm still exploring and learning how to best communicate this so in the upcoming weeks you know Mirage and i we will make videos for each of the quadrant and i will just continue to kind of try and explain and inform but i absolutely understand if some of the way i explain things or some pictures i choose or whatever may not make it like as clear for you as you'd like so i just like you know let me know what is confusing for you because it really helps me like be clearer and i don't take it as like a, a you know like a critique that makes me feel bad in any way i'm just so grateful that you're here and at the same time yeah i just ask you to like have some patience with me because we're still figuring things out one last thing if you did watch all the way to the end of this video you should know that I'm going to offer some like kind of mini consultations just to help people like give you my take on where you fit into the essence for people who don't want to do like a big style talk. Um, and I will probably link this in the description of the video or I will just share it on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Okay, bye.